This is Mike from GoCellPhoneRepair.com and today I'm going to demonstrate the best universal cell phone battery charger in the world. Now I know that sounds like a bold statement, but I can tell you that we have tried many, many, many different versions of universal chargers and the majority of them have been frustrating, low quality, um, difficult to operate and for a number of reasons not recommended. However, we finally found one that really works consistently and I've been using one just like this uh, at my desk for about the last two and a half years without any problems whatsoever. So highly recommended. These are the ones that we sell in the store. They're the ones that are also available for sale on the website. And today I'm going to show you how they work. What I'm going to do is just show you how to operate it. It's very simple. All you have to do is locate the positive and negative terminals on your cell phone battery. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have a battery that can be removed from the phone, this is going to save you a lot of time and energy and money, especially if you have something like a damaged charging port. So again, what we need to do is just figure out where the positive and negative terminals are on the battery. They're usually indicated on the label. Sometimes they're actually embedded into the plastic on the bottom here. But what we want to note is that these actually correspond. In this case, the positive goes to the outside, negative goes to the very furthest inside. And we want to start by opening up the charger so that we have these exposed. Uh, because you don't want to have to flip this open after the battery's been attached. Once we put this in, we don't want it to be moving around, and it will kind of stabilize with this little clip here, which is also used to release the tension on these little terminals here, which are going to have to match up at the same distance that the um, terminals on the battery are. So what you want to do is just kind of eyeball this, and you can see they've actually printed some numbers on here. Uh, if I can get this in the right lighting. There are some numbers you can kind of match up. So in this case, it looks like the number ones are about the right distance for this. So we'll lift this up and move these into the number one position. And the next thing we want to do is kind of get a good look at the terminals on the battery while we have these little metal pieces make contact on the inside. What we're going to do is just push this in until it's making contact. And when it does, you should see a little red light went on in the bottom there because when it's not attached, we've got nothing. You plug it in, the light comes on. When the light comes on, you can release this, and this little tab at the top will kind of keep the battery in the right position. And you notice that that light stays on. That's because of the charges being output from the battery to the charger. And what we'll do then is bring our power supply over, plug this in just like it was the outlet in the wall, and you'll notice that the light starts flashing on the bottom. It's going to take a few hours, um, and typically a lot longer than the OEM charger for the cell phone will take. So I recommend putting this on the charger overnight. Once the battery is fully charged to capacity, this light will go solid again. Now, it's important that you notice the difference between a fully charged battery and the fact that the same thing that can happen if someone happens to jar the battery while it's plugged in and it loses contact with the charger, this light will also go solid. So that would be a false indication that the battery is charged because it's actually just lost contact up here. So if... Um, if we don't have it connected properly and it's not flashing when we plug it in, you're not going to get a charge. If the battery is disconnected from the charger and it's still plugged into the wall, you will still see the light on on the inside. So you want to make sure that when you put this back in that it's actually flashing when you connect it. Unfortunately, this is transparent, so you can kind of see through the top a little bit. But again, I recommend going at it from this angle. It's a lot easier to see where the terminals are and make sure everything lines up properly. Another thing that's nice about this universal charger is that it is intelligent. So the polarity of the battery does not make a difference. You can have the positive on either side. I can flip the battery completely upside down, plug it in again, and it's still going to charge regardless. It doesn't matter which way the battery goes in. So that makes it kind of cool if you're in a hurry, you don't have to mess around worrying about which way you put the battery inside. So that's just for basic operation. Now, another cool thing about this is that it will work not just on cell phone batteries, but on a variety of other batteries, as long as we can access the charging terminals on it. So I have this old digital camera that I got, gosh, probably 10 years ago. And uh, it's a Canon Elf, very basic, but I didn't want to throw it out. However, I could not find the charger for it. So what I did is I popped the battery out here and you'll see that the battery is very similar in size to a cell phone battery. And it does have terminals just like the cell phones do. And in fact, the polarities are indicated by uh, this little embedded marks on, on the back here. So we've got a negative on the left-hand side, positive on the right. And the only thing is we'll have to make sure that these are the correct distance apart. In this case, it looks like number two is about right. So I'm going to open this up again, move this out to the number two, just like that. And then we should be able to actually put these directly on top 
because the terminals are exposed on the outside, um, the edge of the battery. So I'm sorry, on the side of the battery rather than the edge. So now, uh, don't see that we have a light on on the inside. That could be because that one wasn't quite plugged in. And what's nice is you can kind of adjust these two. If you're, if you're off a little bit, you can actually pull this up somewhat and shift it around without putting any tension on it if you're really careful. And then once we get that connected properly, we'll go ahead and put it on, put it on the charger, leave it overnight, and we'll have a fully charged camera battery. And I'm just going to demonstrate a couple different styles. And by the way, when you remove the battery, you want to make sure that you do push down on the tab, push that up, release it. If you yank it out, you can actually damage these. And that's about the only thing that I've uh, run into that can go wrong with these. If you don't treat them well, just like anything else, they will fall apart. And here's just another example here. We've got an LG. You can see we've got the uh, positive on the furthest outside and the negative is second from the inside. So this one looks like it's going to be just inside the number one markings on here. So I'm going to move these in as far as they'll go. And this one, as you can see, you have the option of attaching down here at the bottom or actually on the side here. So either way will work. It's kind of uh, seems a little easier to me if you just rest them right on top just like that. Hopefully you can see that okay. And again, now that we have our red light, we want to make sure this doesn't jar around and get disconnected. But if we plug it in, it should start charging. One very common problem for the Galaxy S3 uh, and a lot of the Galaxy series from Samsung is that they have end up getting damaged in the charging port mechanism or area. Uh, these are very susceptible to liquid damage, um, prone to physical damage just because of the way they're designed. It's almost as if they are designed to fail. I hate to say it, but fortunately with Samsung, you can remove the battery and use the charger. So I just want to demonstrate here real quick that we do have a functional charger. That's always where I start. If you think there's a problem, um, start with the easiest thing first. If your phone won't charge, get a new charger, plug it in, see what happens. If we can confirm that the battery is actually charging or the charger is actually working on another phone, then we can rule out the charger as the problem. And you'll see what happens here when I go to charge this same, uh, use the same charger on this phone. It does light up. Let's try to get out of the uh, glare there. And But all we have is a battery icon with the circle, and there is no progress meter on the bottom, and there's no anything in the battery. So the battery is not accepting a charge. More than likely, the charging port is partially damaged because it does still indicate that something's plugged in, but it isn't going to charge the battery. So what we're going to do here is just flip this over. You see I have two different colors here on my phone, and uh, that happens a lot around here. We'll take the battery out, and just like we demonstrated earlier, go ahead and look for the positive and negative terminals. You'll see that they're on the first and the third um, over. Go ahead and get this matched up. We'll have to bring this in just a hair. It's just inside the number one. And let's go ahead and flip these out first. We'll connect this. And we may not get a light because I don't think this battery any sort of charge on it at the moment but when we plug it in you can see the blue comes back on and an, uh, one question that people ask quite often is you know if I've got to take my battery out to charge it outside of the phone what do I do in the meantime and the best solution usually is to just invest in another battery that way you can have one on the charger one in the phone and virtually no downtime you never have to set your phone down to charge it you've always got something charging or charged up now you'll notice that the blue light is actually staying solid rather than flashing. So what I would recommend in this situation is to leave it on the charger for a few hours, see if it does accept a charge. And if it still won't power the phone on, you can be pretty confident that you have a serious problem with the battery. Because as you notice, when we remove it from the power supply, that light shuts all the way back off. So there, it's still not got any kind of surface charge on it. More than likely, this is a defective battery and it'll have to be replaced. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Post your questions in the comment section below or visit gocellphonerepair.com forward slash forum. Thanks for watching.